Welcome to the Curb Ramp Design 2 video. We're going to be continuing where the Curb Ramp Design 1 video left off, so make sure to view that video before you continue on with this one. So in the video, we'll be creating a flow line profile view. Then we're going to create an existing ground profile. And then finally, we're going to be creating a preliminary flow line design profile. So let's get into it. So here we are in Civil 3D where we left off. We have our flow line alignment right here. And the next step is to create an alignment profile view so we can see what's going on with the elevations and the slopes. So we're going to select our alignment. When we select our alignment, we're going to get um, a tab up here at the top uh, specific to all the alignment tools. So we're going to go to the Launchpad palette in that um, alignment tab, the Launchpad palette, and we're going to hit Surface Profile. So when we do that, oh, so we already have a problem. So normally we have a surface in here. So if you use the project um, window when you first start Civil 3D, it gives you an option to add survey line work or surveys existing surfaces. So um, I chose line work, so we didn't get a surface loaded in. So we're gonna head and, we're gonna go ahead and close this window real quick, and we're gonna add our surface in. So let's fix that. So we're gonna hit cancel. So we're gonna go to the tool space um, window over here. Actually, we need to escape out of this tool first. So I'm gonna click in the black area and hit escape a few times. I'm going to come over to this tool space window. Now, if you don't have the tool space window, um, you're going to have to come up to this home tab right here on the palettes palette and hit tool space and, and it should give you that window. I keep mine docked over here. I, I actually use this quite frequently and this is critical to my the, to, to the way I do things. So I, I do keep it docked on this side. Um, anyways, we need to get the surface added in, that's the whole point. So let's scroll down to, um, to the data shortcuts down here. We're going to expand that and we're going to expand surfaces. And then you're going to see a surface called EG underbar surface underbar whatever your project ID is. Um, so we're going to hit that and we're going to right click it. So we're going to select it first with the left click on the mouse and then we're going to right click on it and hit create surface. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to launch this window saying, uh, giving you some options. You just want the border. We don't really want triangles. We don't want any um, slope arrows, anything like that. We're just going to leave it on border. So we're going to accept the defaults. We're going to hit OK. And you're going to see that surface come in. So now we've got this surface. That's the limits of the surface, those orange lines that just came in. So now that we have our surface added in, we can go ahead and go back to what we were doing. So let's uh, select the flow line alignment. And like I said, this comes, uh, this brings up a tab up here uh, that are alignment specific tools. We're going to go to the launch pad palette and we're going to hit surface profile. And you can see now we have a surface here. That's exactly what we wanted. So make sure it's highlighted and select add. Now you're going to see it come in here. That's what we want. Now we want to hit draw and profile view. So it's going to ask you to select the alignment. We already know which alignment we selected. We did that before we even hit the tool. So it should be your flow line alignment right here. Now I take the rest of this out. Um, I All I leave is parent alignment. And so that's what it should look like. It, that's the way I prefer it. You can do whatever you want. I, I don't like all that extra wording in there. And then we're going to do one to one because we're working in a small <clears throat> in a small area. Um, if you were you had a huge project, you may not want one to one. You may want one to fifty. It's up to you. You figure out what you want to do. I do best with one to one because of the small areas. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to accept the automatic station range. That's fine. Um, under profile view height, I usually change this to user specified. And you can see there's some values in here. I usually give myself 15 to 20 feet of elevation space to work with these profile views. Um, it, it's up to you. I don't want it directly. I, I don't want only half a foot of elevation space into my profile view to work with. That's not going to work for me. So 
I always select user specified and give myself some space. So I, this is 15 feet of elevation space. Um, that's, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to hit next. And then in this window, we're going to come over here. We're going to slide the, the, the slider over to where it says labels. And I'm going to just hit this with the left click and I'm going to change that to standard. And I'm going to go ahead and hit edit current selection. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to the labels tab and I'm going to change all these values that say zero in the weeding column. I'm going to change them to 100. If you don't do this, whoops, if you don't do this, you're going to get a whole lot of mess in your profile view window. It's going to be a lot of uh, numbers and leader lines and all this um, coming from your existing ground profile. And we don't want that at all. It, it's it makes the window almost impossible to work with. So just go ahead and weed out all that stuff and hit OK or apply OK, whichever one you want, and then hit OK again. And then you're going to hit this Create Profile View button. So you want to scroll out and you kind of want to put it off to the side. So I'm going to left click over here and you can see this profile view came in of the existing ground. Now, because I'm working with snaps and, and things, I don't like this dashed line style. It makes it difficult to work with, with some of those snaps that I will be working with later. So I don't like this, so I'm going to change it. Um, I'm gonna, just going to simply select this line. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to edit profile style. And you're going to go to the display tab up here. And under the, the line, I'm going to go change the color to cyan. I like that color better. And I'm going to change the line type from by layer. I'm going to change it to continuous. So I want a continuous line and I want to change it to, to blue. And I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that's exactly what I did. Now, when you do that, you're going to be changing every single profile that has an existing profile. All those profile views will change to that blue for existing ground. So I didn't just change this profile view window. If I had other profile view windows with existing ground layers in it, I would be changing those as well. So keep that in mind. I'm actually going to hit escape to kind of clear the, the tool out. And then I'm going to create a design profile. So a preliminary design profile. The only thing we want to do is select the beginning and the end points. That's all I want to do. I kind of want to see what the slope is from the beginning to the end. This is not your design profile. This is a actual preliminary profile that we just kind of want to see what's going on. So I'm going to select this outer box here. It's called the profile view window. And then it's going to bring up tools specific to the profile view up here in that tab. And I'm going to go, for, I'm going to hit under the launch pad palette, I'm going to hit profile creation tools. And I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say, I don't want any of this. So I actually remove that part and I put design, whoops, I want that in caps. Design profile. For, so DP for design profile, and then I just hit OK. Now it's going to bring this um, toolbox up, and I'm going to use this tool right here. It's the draw fix tangent by two points, or you can hit the little drop down and there's different things, but you want to hit this, this one, fix tangent two point. And I'm going to snap to the beginning, left click, and I'm going to snap to the end, left click. And then I'm going to hit escape. And then I'm going to zoom out and look. So my slope between my beginning and end point is 0.89% about. So that's, that's fantastic. So um, that's all I really wanted to show you in this video. We're going to move on to creating offset profiles and creating offset uh, profile views and things like that. So uh, tune into the next videos. Have a good day.